you asked for it, so here we go. Today, we're learning all about Russian piping tips. Welcome back to Shelly's Bakes Cakes. Today is all about Russian piping tips. A lot of people kind of shy away from these tips, and for a good reason. I mean, they're a little bit scary <laughs> and humongous. They're so big, you guys. And they're, they're, they're definitely a little bit harder to manage and kind of figure out how to use. So I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks how we make the cutest, most beautiful floral cupcakes with our Russian piping tips. The key to a good piped flower with your Russian piping tip. Here are some things that a lot of times make it a lot harder to get a good piped flower. Your buttercream. A lot of times people don't understand why their flowers aren't formed or why they just look like blobs because trust me, might have looked like blobs as well, but you need a firm buttercream. So when you make your buttercream, you know, you get that nice smooth buttercream, add about a fourth a cup extra powdered sugar, icing sugar to your buttercream. So it gives it a little bit of a stiffer, stiffer texture. And I promise it will make a huge difference when you're trying to use these fun little Russian piping tips. So add more powdered sugar. You want a firmer buttercream consistency. The next problem people run into is they try and pipe and they just, they don't form a flower and it gets crazy. I know you guys, they're very temperamental tips. So you really just have to practice. My advice would be get some parchment paper, get your tips and start just practicing with the rhythm of how to pipe. You can see in front of me that I'm gonna start piping and we'll see the things that can go wrong and how easily they can go wrong because they can. So this first one, you can see I'm just piping it and I kind of just push it out. I don't really have a rhythm and it's just not really a great flower. The second one, you can see that I'm pushing my buttercream out before I put the tip down next to the plate. That is another key to using these Russian piping tips is you don't start piping until you put this right onto the surface of your cake, cupcake, whatever you're doing, make sure it's right there at the bottom. Don't start piping before it hits because then it just turns into a blob. So you can see I'm gonna push it down and then you start pulling up and that is gonna help you form a better flower. Also, you can see this one, I'm gonna do that. I'm pushing it down, I'm starting it right, but then I just keep going <laughs> and it just kind of goes into just whatever flower petals everywhere. It, so I told you it's a little bit finicky, so you just need to practice and get a rhythm to it. So I'm gonna start by just putting it down and then pulling up just a little bit, and there we have a flower. So to make a flower with a Russian piping tip, you push it down right onto the cupcake or cake, your tip, then pull it away softly, not too high until you get a flower, and then release it. And there you have a cute flower. Like I said, practice, practice, practice with these because a lot of people say they cannot do it. You can just practice. Your buttercream firmness makes a huge difference. Some people use couplers. If you're making lots and lots of cupcakes with Russian piping tips and wanna just switch the tip, definitely you can use the couplers. Today I just cut a big hole in our piping bag and stick it right in there. And then we're gonna fill our piping bag with buttercream. You can see that I have different shades of color kind of mixed into my flowers and you can do it any way you want. You can just do one solid buttercream color or you can put a ton of different colors in your piping bag to just make it a happy different flower. You can also put a little bit of a color in the middle and then put some around the side and then you'll get that middle look on your flower. They're like endless possibilities with these fun piping tips. Once you figure them out, they're so much fun, so pretty. All right, we are gonna start piping on a cupcake. You can see I'm starting, I'm placing my tip right on the cupcake and then we'll start pushing the buttercream, just a little bit pull, and then we're gonna release it. And there we have a flower. Just kind of try and keep that same rhythm all the way around your cupcake.
I know these Russian piping tips are a little bit daunting at the beginning. I promise you, I had the same feelings when I started using them. I didn't want to use them again because they were frustrating tips. But once you figure it out and get the hang of it, you're gonna love the floral magic that it makes. Thanks so much for watching here at Shalise Bakes Cakes. Make sure and subscribe to my channel and let me know any other things you wanna see here on my channel and I'll get it done for you guys. Have an awesome day, guys.